Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about sharing content between iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. You can share both template and custom content via the Content Manager in both applications, meaning that you no longer need to have two copies of the same file on your computer. In addition to saving disk space, it also allows you to consolidate content management to optimize your workflow. The new Content Manager also allows you to download assets directly, meaning there is no longer any need to log into your browser or download installation files like in previous versions. Let's start with the free resources pack that comes with both programs. As you can see here, I've downloaded some into Character Creator 4, indicated by the colorful thumbnails. Over in iClone, the same thumbnails are grayed out, as I haven't yet installed them onto that application. To install, simply double click the thumbnail. You can then enter the pack, and as you can see, the content will be the same in both programs. If I right click and select Find File in CC4, the location of the content will appear in the Relusion template main folder. As you can see when I do the same in iClone, the file path is the same, meaning that you're saving tons of disk space when using both applications. You can also use the refresh button at the top of the content manager to sync all the content between both programs completely. Once we do that, the thumbnails for the downloaded packs will become colorful. If you want to download more content, you can find tons of quality assets in the content store. When you find a pack that you like, you can simply click the Add to Bag icon below the thumbnail to quickly add your desired license version to your bag. Keep in mind that iContent license is only for use within iClone, whereas if you want to export to other software, you'll need the export license. I'll quickly add another one, and we can proceed to checkout. After the fairly straightforward checkout process, you'll be able to find your content in the inventory section of your account backend in the content section. You can select them and simply hit the download button to download them from there. Your content manager will automatically refresh and you can simply click OK to initiate download of the packs. If we select Find File in both programs, you can see that again, they both downloaded to the same main template folder. Let's test out the character in motion in iClone next. I can simply double click on the character or drag it into my scene first. Once that's done, I'll head over to the animation pack I just added and click a drag a motion onto the character. I can press play to test it out. It's super easy to send your custom content from iClone to CC4. You can see if I save him as a custom character, once I do, he'll pop up in the exact same folder in CC4 as both applications synchronize. They are also defined as the same asset type in the character subfolder. It's just as easy to access your CC4 character in iClone 8 as well. Here I'm just customizing this dude by modifying his clothes and appearance a bit. To learn more about how to do this in more detail, please check out the respective character customization tutorials. After he's been bulked up a bit, I can proceed to save him as a custom character in the same custom folder. Notice that the thumbnails will be slightly different, as our CC4 character doesn't have a pose, and will also save as a CC avatar. However, it's still completely compatible with iClone 8. In iClone, he'll appear in the same custom folder, and I can click and drag him on top of our previous character to replace him. This process only replaces the model on screen, but retains the animation. We can play back and see that even though he's bulkier, he still has that same long distance jump. That's it for this video guys, be sure to check out our other content manager tutorials to learn more about this great new tool, and I'll see you in the next video.